We continue on an hour-long edition of Wachovia Sports Night. We're taking you right up to the Flyers and the Canadiens at 7.30. And Flyers chairman Ed Snyder is credited with bringing professional hockey to Philadelphia over 40 years ago. And he hasn't stopped spreading his love for the sport since. That's right. As part of his Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation, Snyder sent a handful of aspiring hockey players north of the border for an experience of a lifetime. As you'll find out in part two of our series, Northern Exposure, before they reached their final destination, there were a few stops to be made. It was a complete adventure. It was just like any other road trip, except that most of these kids were leaving home without their parents. You don't know who's going to be their scout yet for the NHL. The trip was a reward made possible by a man most of these kids had never met. I had no idea who it was. I didn't even recognize him. At first, I actually did not even know until somebody came over and told me, look, that's Ed Snyder. Ed Snyder, great guy. All right, guys, have a good time. When they all got on that bus and they took off, uh, you know, it just was the culmination of a lot of hard work and effort for the last couple of years with the Youth Hockey Foundation. <laughs> As we drove up outside of Philadelphia, as we drove up closer up the Pennsylvania Turnpike and we saw some mountains, uh, this was a new experience for the kids. A new experience and a six hour drive. It was pretty long. The drive was boring. The first stop on the trip. We stopped at Buffalo. Whoa. And there was no better place to experience dinner in Buffalo than the place that invented the Buffalo Wing. We went to the Anchor Bar. It was good because I got to try every kind of buffalo wings. Some kept it mild. I got my, a medium hot wings. And some were a little more brave. Suicide? Some people said the suicide chicken. That was hot. I seen a whole lot of people with their eyes teary. Kids don't try this at home. I cannot find my little. Didn't try them. I would not try them. From hot wings to hot seats. We actually got to sit in the front row. The kids found themselves welcomed at a Buffalo Bison baseball game, ironically playing the Ottawa Lynx, the Phillies' AAA affiliate. It made me feel really special because we're big now. I admire what Mr. Snyder does for us. I'm thankful to just get up in the morning and say, hey, I'm going to Canada and play some hockey. It's amazing. Early the next morning, Canada's greatest natural wonder greeted the group from Philadelphia. This is why you need to come to Canada to see Niagara Falls, the amazing sight. It's probably the top five, it's probably in the top five wonders of the world. I think so. It will be in my top five. It was beautiful there because you see the water going over. And then we heard all these stories about how people tried to go over in barrels. And I said, they crazy? Like, crazy people. Canada's greatest export was up next at the Hockey Hall of Fame. We um, got to see like every reward and every trophy. I actually got to like touch the Stanley Cup. Take the picture. No, I thought it was going to be like small. Just feet from Lord Stanley's Cup were the names and faces of some of Philadelphia's and the game's greatest figures. Perrant. Where the pair? Perrant, yeah. <laughs> now you've met Bernie Perrant. Yes, I did. And here's Mr. Snyder. Pretty cool, huh? George Hayes. As was the name of the man and the reason the kids were there. Him giving us this 40 years of hockey now, 41, he deserves it. He deserves to have that his plaque in the Hall of Fame. Seeing his face in the Hall of Fame is really cool. They enjoyed it, that's for sure. And some of them sent me pictures of me at the Hall of Fame, so I thought that was cute. History soon gave way to play as the kids found themselves downstairs trying out their hockey skills. But they found the currency they needed to play a little confusing. Uh -huh. I got $2, $2, and $5. I never saw a $2 coin. It was a trip of first, and as they played at the hall, they all knew that the next day, the real thing awaited them in Oshawa. Each part of the, the, the trip, there was a new adventure, there was a new experience, something that was beyond what, what previously had been their experience. Go, go, go on. 
You know, a lot of these kids, Neil, hadn't even ventured outside the Philadelphia city limits before a trip like this. And so one experience almost topped another. You know, you, you go to the baseball game, you, you taste the buffalo wing, and then, and, you know, then you go to uh, the Hockey Hall of Fame and Niagara Falls. I mean, they're going to have something to be talking about for the next three or four years, just this experience, because nothing had even come close to something like so this. So much more than just sports, oh, right? Yeah. But it is sports, and through the Ed Snyder Hockey Foundation, that's brought them all together and given them this opportunity. And they're I mean, this is one an, a lot, uh, opportunity of a lifetime for these young men. Uh, information on the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation, if you're interested, their website is esyhf.org, or you can call, and the number is 215-952-4196. That's 215-952-4196. You see the number here. And uh, congratulations. And we still have another, I was gonna say, another part, right? Th there's more. There's more. Check out part three of Northern Exposure tomorrow on Sports Night when the kids from the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation take to the ice in Oshawa, Ontario, where they got special instruction from former Flyers captain Keith Primo. That is all tomorrow on Sports Night.